This is really great. Hey there. I've been thinking. Now that the Saints are a real organization, I feel like I should have a better understanding of, you know, all the basic skills involved in day-to-day -day operations. Right. And that means... I was hoping you could teach me to shoot. Oh, yes, of course. Meet me at the old quarry. I set us up a kick-ass practice range. my happy place. Hip-hop was originated, fitted like pieces of puzzles, complicated. Cause I grab the mic and try to say yes, y'all, they try to take it. And say that I'm too small, cool, cool. Cause I don't get upset, I kick a hole in the speaker, pull a plug, then I jet. Back to the lab, without a mic to grab. So then I add all the rhymes I had, one after the other one. Then I make another one, to this the opposite, then ask if the brother's done. I get a craving like I fiend for nicotine, but I don't need a cigarette. Know what I mean? I'm raging, creeping up the stage, and doing a sound amazing. 
Cause every rhyme is made in thought of Cause it's sort of an addiction Magnetized by the mixing Vocals, vocabulary, and verses just stuck in The mic is a drain, no volcanoes erupting Rhymes overflowing, gradually growing Everything is written in the code so it can coincide My thoughts to God 48 tracks to slide The invincible microphone beam Rock him, spread the word For some a smooth operator operating correctly But back to the problem I gotta have it You can't solve it Silly rabbit The prescription is a hypertone That's thorough when I feed for a moon Like heroin Kiss, I need a fix Give me a stage and a mic and a mix And I'll put you in a mood Or is it a state of unawareness Beware, it's the Animator, a menace to a microphone, no leave the weapon or assassinator. If the people ain't stepping, you'll see a part of me that you never seen. When I'm feeding for a microphone, I'm the microphone fiend. After 12, I'm worse than a gremlin. Feed me hip hop and I start trembling. The thrill of suspense is intense, you're horrified. But this ain't the cinemas of tales from the dark side. By any means necessary, this is what has to be done. Make way, cause here I come. I'm furious! Hey, wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself. Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons do you plan to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Oh, yes. You must have a stance. So what's a good stance? Well, this... I can't describe it. I just do it. Watch. Okay. Stance. Well, uh, we'll work on that. Next. My research said keep your eyes open when you shoot? Rather so. I like to pretend there's a little white dot or crosshairs on whatever I'm shooting at and then just aim for it. Like this. Damn! Yeah, I get it. What about breath control? I read a lot about exhaling when you pull the trigger. Blimey, Eli, in a big firefight, I pay no attention to how I'm breathing. I just, well, look. Am I... <laughs> Research said to squeeze the trigger instead of pulling it? What's the fucking difference? There's just a feel to it. Look. Hey, 
Wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself. Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons do you plan to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Oh, yes. You must have a stance. So what's a good stance? Well, this... I can't describe it. I just do it. Watch. Damn! Yeah, I get it. Next, my research said keep your eyes open when you shoot? Rather so. I like to pretend there's a little white dot or crosshairs on whatever I'm shooting at and then just aim for it. Like this. Yeah, I get it. What about breath control? I read a lot about exhaling when you pull the trigger. Blimey, Eli, in a big firefight, I pay no attention to how I'm breathing. I just, well, look. And my research said to squeeze the trigger instead of pulling it? What's the fucking difference? There's just a feel to it. Look. Yeah, I did see a certain squeeze quality. Nice. Hey, what's up with those trucks? Looks like Marshall. Uh... I expect... We're near one of their Black Ops sites. Trespassers on Marshall land will be shot! Grab a gun. It is against regulations to allow civilians on the Marshall stand? land. Stand? <laughs> You're fair game now! This is what we call... Hey! Hey! I got one! Brilliant, mate. See what I mean about the dog? That's right, wankers. You're the training exercise. More trucks jumping. Let's take it. Uh, this may be a bit much for a beginner. Get in the car. from the uh, roof thing. Wait, that's not... Oh, boy. Get back here and face oh, the God, there's so many of them. Get away with our training secret. Keep breathing. Keep Don't breathing. Don't let them escape. Ah! I'm gonna puke. Maybe a, a bit more hands-on learning than I was hoping for. I know. You did great out there. I guess next time I'm in a tight spot like that idol's party, I can slow him down. But I think I'll leave the car roof shit to you from now on.
This place has so much potential. I can't wait to decorate. I've got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We haven't exactly got the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom. It'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yes, but how? It just works. Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with, like, a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The bloke with the ponytail? The other ex, Teddy. The woman with the mohawk? Right, so here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Cannon would rock at the church. Just take a picture of it. All right, let's head back and see what we got. So Teddy, she was cool. She still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa, of course. Oh, Melissa. She has a good heart. How about we put the cannon here? Nice. That looks badass. Keep a lookout for the rest of the shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. Busy? I need your help with something. It's really important. I'm here. What's up? We need to get over to FB's ASAP. They're re-releasing the Mecha Burger. The what? The toy. Don't you remember? It looks like a hamburger, but turns into a robot. Limited edition re-release. Let's go. You know, I think I had a Mecha Burger way back when. Everybody had one this summer. The kids meal toy FB's ever produced.
Do you want to relive your childhood? They're all here for the Mecca Burger? Doesn't matter if they are. We'll just muscle up to the head of the line. Welcome to FB's. Can I take your order? Uh, yes. Hi. May I please have a chicken brat box meal with a Mecca Burger toy? In purple, if you have it. We're out of Mecca Burgers. Shit. Well, there's another FB's in Marina del Lago. Let's try there. Marina's FBs is also out. The next closest is a Mercado. There are two in the flats, but we should try Mercado first. Why is it so important to get a new one of these? Oh, I didn't have an old one. I never got one when I was a kid. It came out when I was in foster care. Oh, right. Let's get you a fucking Mecca Burger. Pretentious anarchists and getting in everybody's way. What else? Well, they're between me and my kids' toy, so let's fix that. Get in 
Last of them. Let's get my mecha burger. Hey, my friend here needs a chicken kids meal with a mecha burger toy in purple. They're all gone. Those horrible people in pink stole the entire shipment. They said something about striking a blow against capitalistic materialism and soggy french fries. Fucking idols. They really are a bunch of thugs. Taking joy from children. Fuck children. They took joy from you. Buckle up. My friend here needs a chicken kids meal with a mecha burger toy in purple. They're all gone. Those horrible people in pink stole the entire shipment. They said something about striking a blow against capitalistic materialism and soggy french fries. Fucking idols. They really are a bunch of thugs. Taking joy from children. Fuck children. They took joy from you. Fuck it up. There they are. Get them to pull over. I'm not sure whether to ram or shoot. Whatever. Just don't blow up the delivery car. There we are. I'm getting that toy. easier when I can use a rocket launcher. There. You are now the proud owner of 100 limited edition Mechaburgers. Nah, I just want one. Maybe sometime you could help me bring the rest down to the county orphanage? Absolutely. I wonder if I still have that old Santa Claus costume somewhere. Doesn't that costume have a shirt? Not when I wear it, baby.
All right, Eli. I hereby invite you to the inaugural meeting of the Saints Board of Directors. Oh, uh, that's rather corporate structure, isn't it? It'll be donuts. Be right there. Okay, so we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with the people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. Everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Bollocks. My contacts all have their own things going already. They are. Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints. Couldn't hurt to ask. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Panteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. Kevin. <laughs> you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay. Go be superstars. Meantime, I'm gonna finish going through that briefcase we got from John Bland. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. JR, how'd you like to be part of something big? My mates and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those bad terrorists are cutting into our profits something fierce. I'll tell you what. Join our new thing, and no one will ever miss with this garage again. Well, you take care of this Panteros problem, and I'll consider it. Deal. So how are these Panteros fucking with our business? You name it. Undercutting costs, scaring off our customers. Sergio said this jacked up mound of a dude named Derek to run me out of business any way and every way he can. If you take care of his toughs at the park, maybe you'll scare him enough to go mess with someone else. Right you are. Jim Rob's garage is off limits. Show your face there again, you're dead. The old man sent you? Uh. Done and dusted. Uh. You mess with JR. You mess with us. The Saints protect what's ours. Hey, JR. I took care of the crew in the park. Well, I'll be. Let's go after their supply lines next. Derek's got a crew at the train depot smuggling in crates of stolen parts. That's how they keep undercutting my prices. Don't worry, I've got this. Feel free to blow up their cars, too. Panteros get real bugged by that. Hey, Eli. I'm tidying up a Panteros problem for JR, then I think he's in. How goes it with the rest of the team? Great. Kevin knows so many people. Huh. 
bet all he has to do is buy them coffee to get them to sign on while I'm busting my bum torching Pantero's cars. Come on, you know you love it. I really do. This ain't your territory, dumbass! It is now. You fuck with Jim Rob, you answer to the Saints. Oh. Rob's oh. your uncle. Sergio, Jim Rob's garage is under the Saints' protection. Jim Rob's. Two for two, JR. Son of a gun, you still got it. Only thing left to hit is Derek's HQ. It's down on the corner. Oh, hell's bells. You gotta get back here. Derek and his crew just rolled up on me. This is what you get for fighting back, old man. You get off of my land. Fuck. Better hurry. Say this one last time. Stay away from JR. Oh, 
careful of that. That settles Derek and his crew. Right thoughtful of them to bring the fight to us. So, what should I tell my friends? Are you in? I'm in. What do you call this new outfit? We're the Saints. Welcome aboard. Well, we can count JR in. Uh, what is this? It's not board game night. No, this is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right, so... How do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church. And Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. Oaks Medical Clinic. Now I know what you're thinking. None of us have medical degrees. That's okay. Because the whole thing's a front, see? We just have to look legit enough for insurance companies to pay us lots of money for fraudulent claims. Now here's my friend Tamira. She knows all the angles of the insurance game. Go talk to her. She'll help us get the ball rolling. Welcome aboard, Tamira. Are you ready to get to work? Sure am. My automated claim generation code is ready for beta testing. What's that now? It produces fake records and documents based on real-world data. It should be good enough to fool the fraud detection algorithms. That sounds rather complicated. How about I throw myself in front of traffic? And the harder I am hit, the more money we make. Sure, if you want to die. With my system, all we gotta do is push a button. How about I do insurance fraud my way, and you do it your way? You're the boss. Just be careful.
pinche mierda puñeta culera hijo de puta carajo! Nina, is that you? The fucking Pantero stole my fucking car! Your project car? Yes! This is Sergio stink all over it! I need your help! I'm getting my car back with interest! On my way. back. You want the wheel? I'll try not to drive angry. Any idea where they'd take your car? If they stole it, they're gonna chop it. But you know Sergio. I wanna make it personal first. Take it for a spin, drag race. Show the Panteros who's boss. The most likely place he'd do that is at the culvert in Smelterville. Hopefully we can catch him there before he carves it up. He knows what that car means to me. Damn. I don't know if I ever said this in so many words, but that guy is a proper wanker. You spent hours on that car. I've spent years on that car. That's why he took it. As far as he's concerned, I didn't betray Los Panteros. I betrayed him. He's got to make it hurt. I don't get it. If someone betrayed me, I'd just... Bang. Not that I want him to do that to you. It just seems not how it works in Los Panteros. You shoot someone in the face, they're dead. You fuck up their car, they're nothing. Here's the culvert. They won't be happy to see you. Whatever. As long as I get my car. Oye, cabrones! ¿Dónde está mi carro? Shit! It's Nina! Mistake, Nina. Should have just let it go.
We need a better position. Tell her what she wants to know. Sort it. Oh, you're gonna die now. <laughs> I don't see your car. Damn it! It's not here. You must already be chopping it. We've got to get to the garage. What if we're too late? Sergio's people are professionals. They'll cut it up clean so they can sell it for parts. So you could rebuild it then? Eventually. Doesn't mean I won't take it out of their ass for putting me through the trouble. Hola, Gabriel. Where's my car? It's not here. No digas pendejadas. We both know you chop Sergio. I don't think he's gonna talk. He's our only fucking lead. Wait, what did you say about Los Panteros? Shoot one in the face and they're dead. Car. And they're nothing. Wait, what? Oh, my paint job, my fucking paint job! My car! What are you doing? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Sergio took your car to the quarry. What? No, 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 no. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Drive now to the quarry! I don't get it. What's it mean? What's the quarry? It means Sergio doesn't want to chop my car. He doesn't even want to sell it for crap. You mean he's gonna... Right over the edge. There's no fixing that. We don't stop him. Wanka! Hang on. we got all kinds of terrors up our arse. And they sent us this little message. Don't let anything slow you down. Here is Antioch Paris won't stop us now. <laughs> please, 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 please. I think we really ticked them off on this one.
getting close. Step on it. I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know? It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Who? My mom. But when Kimo made her weak, I drove her around. Oh, fuck. I promised her I'd take care of that car. Ella confiaba en mí. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. If Sergio's gonna fuck with my family, I'm gonna fuck with his. It's me. Time to pay Sergio back for what he did to my car. I have a but I need you to get me into the Scorpion factory. That's Panteros HQ. Got it. Meet me at the FBs in Mercado. Forty-eight tracks. Invincible. He's stealing. N-E-F-F-E-C-T A smooth operator, I'm actually But back to the problem, I gotta have it You call it, silly rabbit The prescription is a hypertone That's me for a microphone Like heroin, just kicks I need a fix, give me a steak and a mix And I'll put you in a mood Or is it a state of unawareness Beware, it's the reanimator A menace to a microphone A lethal weapon or assassinator If the people ain't stepping You'll see a part of me that you've never seen When a fiend for a microphone I'm the microphone fiend After 12, I'm worse than a gremlin Feed me hip-hop and I start trembling The suspense is intense, you're horrified But this ain't the cinemas of tales from the dark side By any means necessary, this is what has to be done Make way, cause here I come My DJ cuts material Ran a curio Can I bust any mic your hand to me? It's inherited, it runs in the family I wrote the rhyme that broke the bull's back If that don't slow him up, I carry a full pack Now I don't wanna have to let off You should've kept off, you didn't keep the stage warm Step off, Step on. ladies Step and on. gentlemen You're about to see a pastime hobby about to be taken to the maximum. I can't my life see a hype as a hypercardiac, cause the rap be one rap hell of a hell. Something you can't smoke more than dope. You try to move away, but you can't. You broke more than cracked up. You should have backed up. So. You said you have a plan? Yep. I'm gonna blow up all their cars and destroy the forge so they can't make more. Uh, how exactly? Today's the first Wednesday of the month, barbecue day. Everybody will be outside for lunch. The factory will be almost deserted, except for the cars. We get in, go through the garage, torching everything with wheels. 
You take care of anybody who might try to stop us. Then, when we get to the forge, keep the oxyists for welding. That stuff's explosive as fuck. You hold them off while I roll the tanks right down its throat. Boom! No more forge. Blimey, that is a plan. The best part is, Sergio's out on a collection run. By the time he even hears about it, it'll be too late. How are we gonna get inside the Scorpion factory? By liberating a helicopter from the aerial gun range. The what now? It's a tourist thing. They hire out helicopters with machine gun turrets, then fly them over the desert and shoot whatever might be out there to shoot. This is for fucking real. I know, right? Fine. If stealing a tourist assault helicopter gets me inside the factory, whatever. I do know a bloke I could borrow one from, but his rates are pretty high. I don't need this energy. So, this forge thing we're blowing up... The giant furnace Los Panteros use to make all the custom gear and weapons and bling for their cars. Ha! That'll cut Sergio off at the knees. It'll do more than that. The forge is symbolic. It's power and protection and home and hearth. Everything Los Panteros are supposed to be about. Forget his knees. We're gonna rip out his heart. This thing is see barbecue day, just like I said. Did Mariel assault it? Time, did you? I'm rather good at that. Hey, reinforcements. They look like ants from up here. More on the way. That's why I brought you along. Looks like there's guards on the roof. Take them out. We'll get inside. We'll have to go in through the vent. We're in. Let's blow some shit up. Fuck up their cars and they're nothing. Exactly. You wreck my car, I wreck all your fucking cars. And that's how it's done.
should have left my mother's car alone. And then... Not a nitpick, but didn't your plan call for this place to be deserted? It should have been. We must be working double shifts. And look at all this gear. That Sergio's planning something big. Well, we're sorting that. Oh! Fire! 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 Ah! Monster truck. Didn't I destroy that thing? I told you, Sergio can use the forge to build anything. will be better. Come with me to the control booth. <laughs> Gonna need the crane. Crane? Your plan didn't include a crane. I would have remembered a crane. Power up that console. It's not working. Shit, you have to activate the junction box. It's down there, next to the oxyacetylene tanks. Nina, what's your game here? No time to explain. You trust me? Unflinchingly, then do it. You got power to the crane. Cover me. I said I was gonna wreck all of her cars, and I fucking meant it.
Sergio's monster truck. Didn't I destroy that thing? I told you, Sergio can use the forge to build anything.
Better. Come with me to the control booth. I'm gonna need the crane. Crane? Your plan didn't include a crane. I would have remembered a crane. Power up that console. It's not working. Shit, you have to activate the junction box. It's down there, next to the oxyacetylene tanks. Nina, what's your game here? No time to explain. You trust me? Unflinchingly? Then do it. All of our cars, and I fucking meant it. Y'all motherfuckers are dead now! Crazy. Now, what was your exit plan? I planned that you'd improvise. I trust you too. Oh, right then. Follow me. What's this? Crash test track. You mean exit plan? Can you get that car working? What kind of question is that? Watch my back. I need to reload! Oh, that was your uncle.
wrecked all their cars with this one, eh? How's it feel? Fucking great! 